Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Joviana Palacio and on this channel we talk about all things beauty. Today on my channel we are doing this look right here. It is a soft, glam, super quick and easy yet sultry and sexy type of eye. I posted this look on my IG, um, Instagram stories and posts because I am, if you didn't know, participating in a benefit brow search contest where they have us post twice a day. And so this was one of the full on brow type of Instagram situation moments that I posted and you guys were all interested in this look and wanted to know how I created the soft glam look. So here we are. I have listened to your request. I am going to go into detail as far as the eyes. I did however not notice that I wasn't filming when I started going into complexion. So you're going to catch me about two thirds of the way done with the look towards the end of the video. But before we get into this video and tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, show your support during this brow search. I want to go to Arizona. So if you guys will um, just go in and comment, like, repost, share this video, and let's get as much attention to my posts as possible. I don't know if that'll help, but I feel like it should. Um, and subscribe to my channel. Subscribe now. I post every Wednesday, every Saturday. Sorry that I'm mumbling. I'm kind of like in a hurry, so I gotta go. I'm gonna stop talking and let's get into this tutorial. All right, so we're gonna get started with the eyes. Obviously, I've zoomed you guys back out to get this look going. So the first step to our eyes, as always, is gonna be our primer. So I'm using our Urban Decay Eden Primer. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm already going to um, spread this quite, uh, not as quite as generously as our last one, but we're gonna go ahead and give ourselves enough to work with. I love, side note, the way that my skin is feeling. I'm going to use a deluxe crease brush to blend this out. Um, I am going to an event today and I whipped out, whipped up, however you want to say, my um, skincare prep for an event like this and my skin is just feeling its best self. I can honestly, like, uh, so smooth. My pores, there's no texture. My nose is dirty. What's new? Cool, cool. Um, but yeah, so that is uploaded up on my IGTV, so feel free to stop by and check that out just because you're going to absolutely love the way your skin feels and you're going to love the way your makeup looks too, which is most important. So um, using that brush, I blended that in. I love that brush. I have recently just been reintroduced to it and I feel like I don't know what I was thinking, why I stopped using it. But anyways. As always, we're going to use our MAC Studio Fix in C2 to prime and set our lids. I want to make sure that I have a smooth surface to work off of. So how appropriate is it that for this soft glam look, we are going to use my Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. So we're going to go in and we are going to play with this bad boy. It is much loved, much loved. And so I'm going to start by blending the crease shade. And this is honestly the simplest look Ever. And I know I say that about all of my looks, but it truly is. So using my JH32, this is what this guy looks like right here. What I need you to do is find a nice fluffy, medium-sized fluffy blending brush for your eyes. And we're going to take Sienna and Rustic on the same brush. We're going to get rid of the excess and we are going to blend this in all over the crease area. And I am honestly wanting to blow this up as much as as possible so light pressure circular motions working from inner outer corner make sure you're holding the brush furthest away farthest away almost to where you like could potentially drop it so that you're using your wrist and not so much pressure is going to the lip and i'm taking it pretty far into the inner corner you've noticed i'm bringing it almost to where like my eyebrow is and I've seen this being done lately and I wanted to try it and I tried it for the first time. Um, I posted it on Instagram and you guys love that post that I did. So I figured I would recreate the look but also share with you some new, new techniques I've picked up. All right, so once we have that pretty blown up, we're gonna move right along. I'm gonna use this Morphe M433 brush. So it's still a blending brush, it's just shorter, a little thinner, more, um, tapered, pointier, and I'm going to take Cypress Umber, which is that nice brown in the palette, and I'm going to just build that up in the outer corner and lower in that crease area. 
just to start to hollow out and create some dimension. So you're gonna build that up pretty nicely. And then going back to our first brush, I'm actually gonna take orange soda and burnt orange. And I'm gonna run that above, like right below the brow, just to kind of blend out some of that first color we laid down. True story, if you guys ever actually see like lines or texture on like this area right here, it's not that I'm not blending or putting primer there. It's a scar that it's very hard for um, product to stick to. Some more of my eyebrow chronicles, but we won't go there. Right now, do we want to stay focused? Okay, so moving right along, we're gonna go into this Jordana 12 hour made to last eye pencil. Eyeshadow pencil, eyeshadow pencil, and I'm gonna use a stiff brush. I don't know why I stopped using this, but I love these guys. So what I'm gonna do is take this, this is the color Continuous Almond, and I'm gonna actually carve out my lid, half of my lid with this. So I'm gonna take that. It is creamy, it does stick once it dries. It is so easy to work with. And it is drugstore. I believe those pencils are like less than five bucks each. It's insane. So I'm just blending this with this flat brush. So I'm gonna go in with my pencil, the M433, my pencil, my eyeshadow brush. I'm not gonna add any more of that cypress umber. I'm just gonna use whatever's left over and kind of go over the lines of what we just did. Cause I don't ever wanna lose the smokiness to my glam. I just wanna make sure that I'm blending everything in seamlessly. Boom, just like that. So we're gonna brighten that up just a little bit and I'll tell you how. I'm gonna use my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe at JH41, that's that nice fluffy um, stiff brush and we are going to pick up some more of this Max C2 Studio Fix and some Tempera and we are going to apply that to the lid following just what we did with that Jordana eyeshadow pencil. So the eyeshadow is done, we are literally moving into the lash portion of this look, which I love. So using another Jordana pencil, this is Tenacious Brown. This is a nice chunky eyeshadow pencil we're gonna use to draw our line with, actually. Um, I use this trick all the time. Clients that worry about getting eyeliner perfect, don't worry about that, it's okay to mess up. And a nice way to kind of get used to your liner and the shape of your eye is this, a chunky eyeliner. So we're gonna use this right up against our lash line, nothing fancy. We're just gonna go right up in there and wiggle it back and forth. Make sure you do it from inner corner to outer corner. And trace that out. Okay, so it's not perfect. I see skin exposed, that's okay, I got you, I know. So what I'm gonna do is take a nice stiff brush like this gentleman right here. This is a Morphe M432 brush. And we're gonna go back into Cypress Umber and we're going to perfect this liner. So what I mean by that is Cypress Umber is very similar shade to the pencil. So we're just gonna wiggle that right up against the lash line. Smoke it out in a sense, fix it in a sense. So just take that all over your lash line and just trace out that liner. Once we do that, we're gonna put some lashes on. I whipped out the old Queen Bee Lashes by Coco Lashes. And so to put these lashes on, you wanna make sure that you are pulling from the actual band and not using the outer corner. You can break lashes, I've done that. And so again, when you're putting on your lashes, you wanna make sure that you are fitting them to your eye shape. And I already know about how much to cut off, so I've used these so much. So put it up against your lash line, make sure it's not hitting you in the inner corner, otherwise it's gonna bug you the entire night. Cut off whatever is necessary. After you've done that, you're gonna take your lash curler and you're gonna put the lash band right into this lash curler and you're gonna give it a nice curl. You're gonna help lift the lash. It's gonna sit up better on your lid. It's not gonna weigh down as heavy on your eye, which is important to us just because we're gonna be wearing these for a little bit tonight and we wanna make sure that we're comfortable. So I'm gonna take my duo glue and I'm gonna put that right on the lash band. Boom. It's got the silicone applicator so it really does help to reduce the amount of glue that I'm using, therefore making it easier for me to apply. And while that's drying, I'm gonna take my Dior Show Mascara. Always take out the excess stuff from the brush. You don't need that, guys. Yes, sometimes a stopper 
does a good job. If it doesn't, take the extra steps to get rid of the extra gunk. Your lashes will thank you for it. And I'm going to apply a decent coat of mascara to my lashes before putting on the falsies. You can do it after. I do it before just so that I don't get the falsies dirty and I can get more uses out of them. These lashes should be good. I'm gonna take this applicator and we are going to apply the lash. I always start by dropping it in the center of the eyelid first and then adjusting the outside. Okay, so I honestly did not record this slayage of a complexion. So we're just gonna wrap it up. I'm so sorry. And I realized that I wasn't recording and I don't have time to take it off and do it over again. So my apologies. I will list all the products down below. So what I'm gonna do is um, just keep moving right along. I'm just going to bronze using my Kat Von B palette. Where's my brow? Here we go. Cannot believe that. That's awful. At least I got the eyes, which I don't want to get the eyes, but yo. Why does that even happen? The actual setting powder um, I'm going to use a setting powder to just kind of dust everything off and even the complexion so it's not super pale. I'm going to use my matte uh, medium golden mineralized skin finish powder and we are just going to dust away anything set, anything that did not get set by that loose setting powder and we are just moving on to highlights. I am actually going to go into... This guy that is right here, my Makeup Forever Pro Fusion in the golden tone, and I'm gonna take my Morphe brush to do it. We're gonna just grab that and go. And then for blush, I'm gonna use this guy that's right here. It's a Dior blush. I'm gonna have the name listed down below because I cannot get that off right now, but I will list it in the description box so you guys know. It is just the best, like, bronzy shade to just complete a look like this because it's like, does she have blush on or does she not? You don't have to, like, worry about it being overwhelming. It is just a nice, pretty tone to just marry the two, the bronzer and the highlighter together. And then to finish all of this, before we do any lip situation, I'm actually gonna go into my All Nighter Spray by Urban Decay. And I am just going to give myself a nice coat of that. I wanna make sure that I stay nice and matte and my makeup holds. That all of these powders just kind of melt into each other so I don't have to worry about having a situation. So let me, yeah, I'm gonna um, do my hair real quick, change, because I do have to go I'm on the clock. And then uh, I'll be back to do my intro and outro. You will see me looking cute soon. Bye. Well, this is it right here, the finished look. I do have to put some type of something on my lips. And the combo that I've been loving as of late is this, this right here. So I'm gonna use the ColourPop X I Love Side IE Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Sueño de Coco. Just like that. And I'm gonna top that over with the Too Faced Sweet Peach Cream Peach Oil Lip Gloss and Peach Fuzz. It creates sort of like an ombre effect. So I start by putting it in the center and then I just dab my lips together. Look right here. It is super quick and easy. I believe that this soft glam, and I'm sorry again, I didn't realize I wasn't filming the eye, um, the rest of the face, but the eyes, I feel like were super easy and simple to follow along. So I hope that you guys like that. Um, I will be posting every Wednesday and Saturday, twice a week on YouTube. Make sure to follow me on my Instagram as well. I do IGTV minis, just like the one I was talking about during this tutorial for the prep for a big event. So I will try to get out of the house soon because I am running late. I will see you guys on my next video. Bye. Moving right along. Does, anybody, does that happen to anybody else? Like these awkward...
build up a foundation. That's weird. 